Hello fellow artists and welcome back to another video. So if you're unaware, or you might be aware, I've been doing the 100 day sketchbook challenge and I've finally made it to day 30 so I thought I would flip through to show you what happened in the 30 days from starting it. I guess I will leave a link to this sketchbook in the description box below. It's an art creation sketchbook if you would like it. And the pencil that I've used for this challenge is the Stapler Mars Technico pencil. So I will do the first page to get the focus right. So here we go. Let's put this on. Shall it be on manual? No, I think it's supposed to be on automatic. It's been so long since I've done like a tour. But anyway, this is day one. I started it on the 12th of February and I sketched some dogs. I think they're alright, I guess. But I don't know. It was really nerve wracking because usually I'd try and draw in like realism style, but I wanted to find my cartoon style, if that makes sense. Then I did cats for day two. Ah, they're all right. You can see I need a lot of work and things, and there was a lot of references on Pinterest that I used to help me out to start with. And I did some owls. This is probably one of my favourites as well, because for day four I did giraffe. So here's a few little draft sketches that I did. And I did put fixative on them, so hopefully they shouldn't smudge at all. I really enjoyed these. I kind of like added shapes as well to try and help see that they're 3D. If that makes sense. <laughs> then we got some runner ducks. I was like talking to mum about some ducks that are where we are like in a school, someone bought some ducks and they had long necks and I was like, they're not goose are they? Or geese? And so I googled it and they're runner ducks apparently. For day six I did some beavers. I think this is still like my favourite, one of my favourites as well. I quite like these sketches. For day seven I did bears and I'd got this gold pen and I was just doodling really quickly like a 10 second sketch and I really liked it so I put it in there. I'm gonna sneeze I think. <coughs> there we go. <laughs> Day 8 we did some sheep. I love sheep. I also like tried to break down the face shapes as well. Did try and do some different ones like horn sheep and I love how dirty look in this one. <laughs> Day nine was some raccoons, just quick fire sketches really, not trying to delve too much into them because I will go back and revisit these animals like after day 30 to see if I can get more, a bit more expression on their faces. Day 10 I did a spread of parrots, you'll have seen this if you follow my community tab. Yep, I posted this one on there as well. So yeah, oh. If you are enjoying this video so far and you love animals, thumbs up the video and yeah, comment down below your favourite animal of all time. I would love to know what that is. For day 11 I did penguins, I realised I cannot draw them <laughs> how I like. I wanted to like give them big dirty looking eyes like, like these but I don't know, it just wasn't looking right. So that's how they turned out. I moved on koala, onto koalas. Again, I'm not impressed with the eye style there. I kind of like the ones that I was previously talking about. This is probably another one of my favourite days, which was um, shark spread. A shark spread. That looks, sounds like something you'd sp spread on butter. <laughs> anyway, yes. A, a page full of sharks, we've got the great white, hammerhead, um, I can't remember what like, they all are but yeah. <laughs> Day 14 was snakes, this was definitely very difficult, I've no idea how, how they work so I'm going to have to revisit this one. Day 15 was some froggos, again just References from Pinterest, just trying to get a feel for how I want them to be later on. 
Day 16 was a spread of cows. So yeah, references from Pinterest and I love this one down here. This little guy is quite cute. 17 we did some rhinos. I also took this pose and turned it into a rhino down here if you can see it. A little bit of the feet as well. I don't like that. That looks weird. Then we moved on to hippos which are kind of similar-ish in build I guess. Day 19 I did a spread full of pigs. I love this one. I think that one's really cute. I love that one and that one. I think this is one of my favourites. I, I love I love the pig spread. This one looks a bit weird, a bit like Percy Pig from Eminence. Day 20 I did a double spread of pandas and then I did like a little tutorial thing-ish, how you do it. I love this one. That's cute. Yeah, I really enjoyed drawing the pandas. Day 21 did some chickens again these are references from Pinterest and I really want to I think I kind of like this eye style here a lot quick spread of toucans I feel like I could have done these a lot better but I wrote a note down here um, struggling with motivation I was kind of losing it a little bit but nonetheless I kept going for day 23 we did ostriches which you'll know because this was the last video. If you want to check out how we made these, go and watch the previous video. Yeah, just trolley, just talked along and yeah, we drew them. <laughs> Next up was puffins. I'm trying to remember who told me about drawing them. I can't quite remember, but yes, I did draw some. Again, I feel like I need a bit more work on like expressions that's what I've noticed from drawing in this style I don't I haven't really captured that and I think it's because there's no mouths on them or like maybe there could be added eyebrows and things like that day 25 was octopuses I will revisit this and draw a lot more and a lot bigger I think because this like I said, I was struggling with motivation, so you can see they kind of went turning out how I wanted them to turn out. Day 26 was, I did some crocodiles. Now this is where I started to feel like I'm getting a tiny bit of expression. This one was referenced from Mitch Lee, I think his name was, and then I took that style and then drew two of my own based off that, if that makes sense. Then I have tempted dogs again. <laughs> yep. And then a bit of shapes and things like that. I kind of like this one. And this one looks like it's done something wrong, which is. I think it was Cruff's. Cruff was on at the time, and there was this dog that was like looking like it had done something wrong. Day 28, I did Puffer Fish. This again was referenced from Pinterest. I drew them very quickly. I didn't take my time on these because I wanted to try and see if I could get the flow quicker and I feel like I've achieved that somewhat. <laughs> and then day 29, I just did a full lion. I will revisit lions again, probably do a double spread and poses and more expression which is what I definitely want to work on. And now we're 30 days into the challenge where I just drew a bunch of birds. There was a mistake under here, so I just drew on a post-it and stuck it on. Because <laughs> I didn't want to rip any of the pages out. And yeah, that is the 30 day benchmark <laughs> of where I've got to from drawing animals for 30 days. What I've learnt so far is that I like the eye style that I've been going for a lot better than the first page. Yeah, I like these a lot better. I've noticed that I'm drawing a little bit more loose, if that's the right word, more loosely. And I will probably study a little bit more Disney style animals just so I can get extra feel for how I want to draw animals in the future. And yeah, 
that's it for this video. I will be doing another video of this book when I've reached day 100. I will not be doing another update apart from on community tabs every now and again what I've drawn. And yeah, that's it. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the sketchbook in the description box below. If you are taking part in the 100 day challenge, leave a comment what you're studying and what number you're on, how well it's going. And it's never too late to start a challenge like this as well. So if you've seen this video and you feel inspired to take it on, go for it. <laughs> All right. So yep, yeah, share with your friends, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time with another video. Okay. Bye-bye.